I'll start. Oh, it's recording now. Okay. Yeah, so. Should we just. I mean, I feel no. bad starting without Jeez. Sarah, but I'm mean, so chill. Come later. Okay, should we just try and read through it then and see what we have? <laughs> The video is 2 minutes and 59 seconds. Okay. Do you think that's too long to put in there? I don't know. Maybe we could play part of it? I mean, if it's just people running, then maybe not. But if it has, like, other stuff... I, I'm sorry, I didn't get a chance yeah. to watch it. No, it's, it's, like a pro, it's like a promotional video. I think it'd be really good to show in there. I thought it was really cool, but... Maybe we could show part of it, like, after the intro paragraph, and then um, the other half of it, like, right before the conclusion, if there's yeah. a way to split it up. I don't know how to split it up or anything, but, yeah, we can do that. Or just to, like, I don't... Can you, like, pause it and go back to you, or...? Yeah, probably. Can I go back and forth, maybe? I have a feeling I'm going to have to talk really, really, really slow. Yes. <laughs> oh, here's Sarah. Sure. Sorry, I'm at school, so I was like, oh, I gotta get this paper printed and get on here. Let's see here. Okay, I haven't been on um, Blackboard to see if anybody added anything to the. Uh, Paper. So I don't know if anybody added anything or not. I sent a copy of I added all my stuff in and looked it over and everything and changed a couple things. But I don't know if anybody changed anything after that. Yeah, I went back through. There was just a couple little things. Okay. But it wasn't anything major. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So we were just going to try and run through it and see how long everything was. Okay, sounds good. Okay, do you want me to go ahead and start with this intro? Yeah, that's cool. Sure. Okay. Hold on one second. I'm going to set a timer so we know around where we're at. Okay. Okay. So the yeah, I'm just going to time myself and see how long mine lasts, okay. too. Sounds good. Okay. Oh, Whenever you're ready, I'm going to do my scam. Crap. Crap. And then okay, do the rest of it. Ready? What was that? Are we gonna split the video up and do the first part before the after the intro and then before the conclusion? Um, I, I think we could split it up if you want. Let's just do a run through without the video first. Just so let get some raw time. Then, add the video. Okay, okay, so we ready to start? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Where can you exercise that is fun, exciting, interesting, colorful, and to help out a good cause? That's easy. All you, you can do all of these things at the Color Run. What is the Color Run? The Color Run is a recently invented 5K 
run in which all the runners get doused in colorful powder at every kilometer and at the finish line. Another great aspect of this totally unique race is that it helps a multitude of charities around the country as well. Or as well. Now that I have established a background for the color run, <coughs> what the color run is, sorry, this is messing up. Sorry. Now that I have <clears throat> established a background for what the color run is and hopefully sparked your interest, let's see what the let's see what it is all about. The color run is definitely not scam. They are hosted all over the United States and even in Australia. In each city, mostly major cities, local charities are selected and each city a race is hosted in. These charities then partner up with the race. <clears throat> volunteers and also receives some of the race profits. For example, the upcoming race in Madison, Wisconsin on June 29th of this month will donate the money they make to Camp Ketchum, which is a camp for children ages 6 to 16 whose parents have had cancer. An example of an Australian race is on August 25th, 2013. The 5K will be held in Sydney, Australia. The charity that this race is benefiting is the Cure for Life Foundation, which is a newly established charity that raises money for medicine research and promotes health. This is a very popular race for very good causes. All these causes are name out there on something that was made up and completely fake. A lot of good money goes to charities that people didn't know existed. Thousands of people travel to these certain locations to help and run the causes, so it is an Not only is the color run considered the happiest 5K on the planet because it's meant to bring friends and family together in a healthy setting, but it also gives back to a chosen charity from that area, like stated before. There is a different charity chosen at each location to run it. To give to, sorry, and runners may also choose to honor someone who is fighting a disease or has passed away. Since the event is not timed, there is no single winner and allows for people of all ages to join. It doesn't matter if you have never run a 5K before, you run here. In 2012, an estimated 60% of runners had never run a 5K race before this event. What's the best part about the color run? The trademark of this race is the act of dousing participants at each kilometer with different colors. 1K is yellow, 2K is blue, 3K is green, 4K is pink, and the 5K finish is a color extravaganza. These colors are 100% safe corn starch powder. Participants are supposed to wear all white clothing. The colors don't stop there. You end at the finish line with a color festival. This is a dance party where participants are doused with more colored cornstarch and are given odd foods. The Color Run held 50 races in 2012 with over 600,000 participants. It is actually the largest series of races in the country. There are 71 races left for the 2013 season and already 32 races have been tentatively scheduled for 2012. The price to participate in the races varies depending on the hosting city, but most are around $45. The Color Run organization is actually for-profit, but they partner with local charities in each host city. These local charities provide volunteers on, the, on race day, and in return, the charities get a percentage of the race fees depending on the number of volunteers they provide. Although the exact amount given to each charity is not disclosed, anonymous sources have rumored that some charities and larger races have earned over $10,000 from the one-day event. It is great exposure for them, says Amanda Black, the organizer of the Baltimore and D.C. races. She also added that the exact donation amount is private. What makes this race better than most is that it douses a person in color while supporting local charity. This race began on January in January 2012 in Tempe, Arizona, with the goals to promote healthy living, happiness, individuality, and giving back to the community. A local charity is chosen at each city visited, 
In 2012, donations for over 60 local and national charities were raised.